right, y'all, so welcome back to another one. So we're doing a little bit of uh, cross-promoting and filming today. I'm here with Alan Prost. You guys know him from uh, from the North American Trapper TV show on the Sportsman's Channel. Sportsman's Channel, yep. Yep. Well, what you guys probably don't know is Alan's also got a YouTube channel, uh, North American Trapper North on American YouTube. North American Trapper. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, the link will be down below to his YouTube channel. He's putting out some really great content. You're just kind of getting rolling, but you're putting out some real educational content. I think a lot of you guys will uh, enjoy the content and benefit from it. So we're out here making some coon sets today. And, you know, the cool thing is, uh, you know, I'm out here with another trapper and we just set up this area. You guys hear me talk about these pinch points and different things like that. And uh, so Alan just set this up. He actually put four sets in here. I'll let him kind of talk about them here in a second. But it's kind of cool to, to see other trappers and actually see the similarities. You know, all the stuff that I've been preaching to you guys for years. Um, you know, Alan's doing it. With the exception, and I, I will mention this, um, with the exception of I noticed you use a trailing scent on every single set that you made i do that's we, something that i i normally don't do so if you would walk us through your sets here real quick and we'll yeah just like this he was as you were saying Stu. this is a pinch point and and, and it, you know it's nice to be out here with you because you have a lot of the same philosophies i have you see an area you see terrain and i think that comes from our experience of being out here but if if we can ingrain in, in the new trap or somebody that's actually looking to go out and, and, and catch a lot of different critters or be the steward of their own property, things of that nature. Look for these areas where you have a thick area into a thick area, which is what we have here. The game trail comes out right here. You can see how the cattails or this this uh, reed is pushed down. That's not a deer. That's actual, you know, small game animals that have pushed that down, flattened that down. And you can see it goes right from there right to the point right here. And... That's the really the shortest distance that those prey species, whether it be a raccoon, a skunk, a possum, you know, they can take that short distance and be back into cover. And then we have the same thing down here on the other side in the middle where the trail, which is actually probably the main game trail, that goes right down through the middle. And we have the, the trail that comes out, and you'll see the distinct padded down right here. It's padded down, and you can see right where it goes down in. Now, the really cool thing with that is it goes from the thick area to the thick area, and we have all open fields. That's where your prey species are going to be, and you said the same exact thing at the other place we were at this morning. You're like, I want to go down there and sit down there where that there was, I think there was a tire laying down. You're like, I'm going to go down there by that tire. Well, where that tire just happened to be happened to be the pinch point or that small area where the prey species were going to go from one thick area to another and and it's nice to be out here and, and and be on the same wavelength that's where our trap goes that's where our trap goes and anybody out there that's watching this if you can remember that don't make it your you know, steal your method kiss method keep it simple don't look for things that aren't going to be there go to where you know they're going to be small pinch points little wood lines that's where your small raccoons possums and skunks are going to travel and as you can see the proof is right here where the trail is the proof is right here and i also want to mention you know so obviously this trail it goes down through that scrubby stuff for you know probably another few hundred yards we didn't have to walk all the way down through there right we're setting right off this trail this is a good way to get in a quick number of sets and you also mentioned, Alan, you were here last year trapping. I was here last so year. So this is a yep. game trail that is here year after year after year. And a lot of you, what you guys see me trap is actually, I mean, I've been doing this for a lot of years. A lot of my sets are sets that I put in the exact same year after year after year. So this is no different. You came no. in and you said, whenever we were riding in, you said, I know exactly I where know to exactly go. exactly where there's going to be a trail because it doesn't matter. We set this, uh, I was in town here at Rocky Branch for, I think, five days, four nights. We set one trap there, one trap there, same exact spot. I had two possums and two uh, raccoons in that trap, so that hit every night. And then I had a coon in this set the, the fourth night, which means we had a double the last night. So I caught five critters here in four nights. Now, I fully expect if you had a two-, three-month season and the weather worked in your favor where it wasn't below zero, depending on where you live, I would fully expect that every prey animal when i talk about prey species i mean raccoons skunks possums you're gonna have them working this trail because it's the only safety net they have to get from the big woods on the other side to the big woods over there through these fields and anywhere across this country i don't care 
if you're in Pennsylvania, Illinois, Mississippi, um, Iowa, it doesn't matter. You find these crossover, pinch, funnel, all those different names that we can give it. You find those zones and you're going to catch in, just like you just said. Every year, this trail is going to be here because it's not because the animals only go here because this is the only place to go. It's the place they go because it's the safety net that they have. It's a safety net. And like, so right now, whenever we're filming this, guys, we're kind of in between what you would call early season and late season. This trail right here, as you can see, there is a very heavy timbered area right there. We're in somewhat of an open area. It goes down to another timber area. These are sets right here that you can actually catch critters with all season long. It's good early season whenever the critters are moving. And right now, as we're approaching the rut, the big boars are going to be running these same trails. So, you know, it's very simple. Um, I really appreciate it, Alan. No, I appreciate it. I really appreciate Alan. Uh, time with you, Alan. Yeah, no, this is, this is fun, guys. So anyway, we're going to... Uh, put a few more sets in here we've got a couple more areas and then we're going to check them tomorrow but uh yeah no it's just cool um you know having a little camaraderie with fellow trappers and definitely go check out north american trapper uh the link will be in the description below and uh you know help the guy out because man i mean he's putting out some great content we're back checking sets today here uh it looks a lot different than yesterday <laughs> yeah, just we've got oh, a few inches of snow anyway and it's only about i don't know 12 degrees or 14 or something i don't know it's cold but uh, anyway back with alan and uh you know although it was that cold last night we still made a catch here on this dog proof and once we take care of that coon i'll bet all the fold money i got in my pocket which isn't much but that that's a boar coon and you know we had this big huge temperature swing but these coons are starting to rut right now and this is just a perfect travel way uh right through here and picked up a nice coon so anyway we've been checking a few sets today alan's caught he's done pretty good on coyotes too during these fronts that's whenever you need your sets out that's whenever the critters are moving you know a lot of people think coons um they den up and they kind of they kind of huddle up but you got to remember as we're getting into this later season this is the start of the rut and these big boars are going to be running every single night and you can see here we've got a nice timber the timber transition and our, our set was just right on the trail you know if this would have been a couple weeks ago we very well could have had a double but since it's a rut you know we've got a set there and we've got a set there and we're just catching these boars running through so i don't know you got anything to say alan it, i don't know it's just been an awesome day it's been know? a pretty good day i mean we've caught all three nestorator species we've caught uh coon this is i think the third coon um got possum, possum skunk, skunk couple coyotes uh you know that's one of the things it doesn't matter what you're trapping out there whether it's coon or coyote or you know any predator if you got your sets in the ground right before a front man it's just uh, i love it it's right before and right after i think are the best two times uh to be out here and yeah you know, just like you said that's gonna probably be a male i'd bet money on it as well yeah so anyway y'all we'll get this uh coon taken care of I'm actually pulling today, so so we won't remake this. But uh, yeah, you know this is a set right now. We're in the first part of January, and I could leave this set right here. These two sets, I could leave them right here till the end of season, and they would be good producing sets. You know these good bottleneck pinch points, timber to timber transitions. It produces. All right, y'all. So made it back home. Um, no, I just wanted to close out this video by saying, you know, it's very cool to to be able to interact with other trappers and kind of see their mindset going into things. And, you know, uh, being able to to trap and, and film with Alan there was just an awesome experience. You know, it was really cool to, to kind of be driving around and see, you know, what I'm looking at. He's looking at the same. So anyway, I just wanted to, to kind of close out this video by saying... You know, don't overthink this trapping thing. Um, you know, I really mean that whenever I say you can go into trapping and use that kiss method. You know, keep it simple, stupid, right? And, um, you know, that's no different than the sets that you guys saw in this video. Um, obviously, we were filming uh, for, for Alan's show, too. So, you know, we, we caught quite a few more different uh, critters and species. So definitely, uh, if you want to see how that all turned out, you know, go... Uh, Go check out Alan's uh, North American Trapper YouTube channel as well as the North American Trapper TV show on the Sportsman's channel. But anyway, uh, I just want to say a huge thanks to Alan for for bringing me along. And uh, it was just awesome riding around with him for a few days there. And uh, 
you know, just just having two like-minded people together, you know, it was just really, really a fun experience. So anyway, with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna sign off of here. Um, as you can see, we've got some pretty inclement weather going on here. Um, but anyway, I've got, uh, I've got sets I gotta go check, so I'm gonna get to that. But anyway, as always, y'all, appreciate the view. We'll see y'all next time.